Hello everyone, my name is Emina and today I will tell you the story of next decade or more in deep subatomic particle physics because that was something I was working on during my PhD research. The world map you see has some names. Those are four top experiments in the world looking for, exploring and analyzing neutrino oscillations and proton decay. The title of my doctoral research is Correlation Study of Proton Decay Signatures Induced by a Gauge Boson and Scalar Leptoquark Mediations. In short, it's all about proton decay. One might wonder what is so special about it. Well, if we recall that atom is made up of nucleus where we had neutrons and protons and electrons orbiting around it and that all ordinary matter is made up of it, then it would be pretty upsetting knowing that some of those particles, namely proton, might decay, especially when this never happens. At least nobody has seen it yet. Some scientists even go further saying that proton lifetime is actually lifetime of the universe. Therefore, I'm deriving equations for proton decay widths and consequently proton lifetimes in order to give experimentalists what to expect in the experiments once the proton decay is observed. Now, proton can decay in eight different ways. Each time it has as a product uh, leptons and mesons. But the trick is uh, which particles are mediating those uh, decays? There are only two options, either gauge bosons or scalar leptoquarks. But the thing is, we cannot call them in real time. So how can we say what really happened in those experiments? The beauty of the model I'm working in is that can say with certainty by knowing the products of proton decay, which particle was mediating each channel. So, we found that a uh, dominant channel for gauge boson is proton going to P0 and positron, and dominant channel for scalar leptoquark mediation is K on and antineutrino. Uh, among all eight channels, those two are the dominant ones and plausible ones to be found in next decade in experiments. So, sit tight and wait for the results, because proton decay is just around the corner.